Greece, the land built by the gods. 10 Most Wanted Places. Greece is everything anyone could ever want in a vacation destination. The Greek gods built their land with perfection in mind. It's a land steeped in history and culture. There are many places to visit in Greece that are literally awe-inspiring. There are gorgeous landscapes and scenery that will leave you breathless, sumptuous cuisine and drinks that will delight your foodie soul, and the locals who will enchant you with their tales and local folklore. With its famous islands, its fabled history, and some of the healthiest and best tasting food anywhere, Greece is sure to be one of the favorite places you've ever been. Here are the 10 most wanted places to visit in Greece. But before we go any farther, make sure to like, subscribe, and bang that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Let's get started with number 10, Kefalonia. Greece is blessed with some of the most beautiful islands in the world, and Kefalonia is certainly one of them. With two natural wonders that are must-sees, and best of all, they're close together so they can be comfortably visited in one day. Melisani Lake was created thousands of years ago when a massive underground cave collapsed, leaving a wide circular opening at the surface which became the lake. Another must-see, Drogarati Cave, was discovered over 300 years ago and was open to the public in 1963. It was uncovered when an earthquake caused a collapse that revealed the cave's entrance. Drogarati is an impressive cave with remarkable formations of stalactites and stalagmites. Speleologists say that this cave is about 150 million years old. After touring the cave and the lake, take a hike up Mount Enos and later chill out at Patani Beach. Number 9. Thessaloniki Thessaloniki is easy to fall in love with. It has charm which is unique for a city of its size which is well over a million people in the metro area, making it Greece's second largest city. Once here, make sure to explore the Church of St. Demetrius which dates from the 7th century. Then visit the White Tower, which is now a museum and has been adopted as the symbol of the city. After that, explore the Rotunda, one of the oldest religious sites in Thessaloniki. It was built by the Romans in 306 AD. By now we know you're probably getting hungry. So head over to the Ladadika district. This whole area is so picturesque and there are plenty of small cafes and bars, which make it a great place to stop and enjoy a meal on a lazy afternoon. Number 8. Cape Sunio If you want to feel like you're on a Greek island without leaving the peninsula of Attica, then Sunia, an archaeological site near Athens overlooking the Aegean Sea, is a must. The site has a storied past and includes the spectacular Poseidon Temple, as well as a national park, and is renowned as a spot to watch a glorious sunset. The Poseidon Temple is a fine example of architecture from the Golden Age of Athens. Built around 440 BC, it is perched on the headland, surrounded by the sea on three sides. The site is a popular day trip for visitors from Athens and is well worth the drive to get here. Number 7. Rhodes Rhodes is another must-see island, located just off the coast of Turkey. That being said, it's truly Greek, and it's packed with lots of cute little fishing villages, ancient ruins, and enough delicious Greek tavernas that you won't want to leave. The medieval town of Rhodes is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is a wonder to explore. It has Gothic as well as Ottoman-style architecture and is one of the best preserved medieval sites in existence. A couple of must-sees while here are the Gate of St. John and the Avenue of the Knights. Make sure to rent a car and explore the rest of the island. You'll want to see the Acropolis of Lindos as well as the Grand Master's Palace and be sure to spend some time relaxing at St. Paul's Bay. Number 6. Zakynthos Ruled by Venice from 1484 to 1797, Zakynthos is a product of Venetian influence, which is evident in its architecture, cuisine, and culture. It has a mix of beautiful scenery, stunning beaches, and access to an equally breathtaking underwater world, full of hidden caves and colorful fish ideal for snorkeling and scuba diving. This makes Zakynthos a top attraction in Greece. Zante Town is the island's capital city. Many of its neoclassical buildings were demolished by an earthquake in 1953, but its paved streets and squares filled with boutiques, bakeries, and cafes are still a joy to explore on foot. The island is full of stunning beaches, but none more beautiful than Shipwreck Beach. It got its nickname when a Turkish cargo ship ran aground in 1980. There are also spectacular sea caves like the Blue Caves off the northern tip of the island, where the sparkling water reflects the color of the blue sky on the cave walls, producing a mystical glow. 
The blue caves are only one of many aquatic attractions on this island. Number 5. Delphi Dedicated to the Greek god Apollo, god of the sun and light, Delphi is the second most important archaeological site in Greece, after the Acropolis in Athens. Located about two and a half hours from Athens, on the slopes of Mount Parnosos, the ancient Greeks once considered Delphi the epicenter of the earth. Dating from the 8th century BC, this sanctuary was home to the Oracle of Delphi, the priestess who was famous throughout the ancient world for divining the future and was consulted before all major undertakings. In ancient times, people would come to this holy place to ask the priestess for guidance on a wide range of subjects, from marriage to agriculture to politics. Significant ruins and buildings in Delphi include the Temple of Apollo, the Tholosh, the theater which seated over 5,000, and the Hippodrome that once hosted the ancient Pythian Games. Perched on the Parnosos Range, Delphi is one of the best locations in Greece to discover ancient history. After all, at one point, Delphi was considered the center of the world for ancient Greeks who came here to worship and seek guidance. Number 4. Meteora Perched high up near the Pindos Mountains, Meteora is a mega complex of monasteries, hundreds of meters high. The word Meteora in Greek means hovering in the air, and that is a perfect description for this astounding place. Religious refugees have been using these sites for over a thousand years, with the building of the monastery starting in the 15th century during the expansion of the Ottoman Empire. Due to the threat of the Ottomans, the monks sought shelter in remote places, and this was how Meteora was created. If not for these monasteries preserving Hellenic culture and traditions during the Ottoman occupation, the Greece of today would much more resemble Turkey, and Meteora was home to much more than just monks. There were poets, painters, and other artists, philosophers, and intellectuals. The modern country of Greece has the monks of Meteora to thank for saving and preserving their language, culture, and traditions. Number 3. Crete Crete is Greece's largest island and the fifth largest in the Mediterranean Sea. The capital city of Crete is Eurakleon, and it's a great place to start off your visit to this wonderful and historic island. It has become increasingly popular and receives millions of visits a year. There are many historic attractions in the area, including Kolesh Fortress, built by the Republic of Venice back when it ruled here. Next up is the Venetian Loya, which was a place for the Venetian noblemen to gather and discuss the issues of the day. And don't miss St. Peter of Dominicans, built in the 12th century and one of the oldest architectural monuments of the Cistercian monks. The ruins of the town of Canossos are also close by. It's a city dated to 7000 BC and is one of the oldest cities in Europe. It's a must-see while on the island of Crete. Number 2. Athens Athens is the largest city in Greece and the oldest capital city in Europe. It is generally considered to be the cradle of Western civilization because it's the birthplace of the concept of democracy. Of course, the main attraction in Athens is the Acropolis, proudly jutting high above the city and featuring the Parthenon, a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, which was completed around 438 BC. Generally considered the zenith of the Doric order, the Parthenon is the most important building of ancient Greece still left standing. Sitting in the shadow of the Acropolis is the Plaka, a charming neighborhood which is lined with cobblestone streets full of cute little taverns and beautiful souvenir and coffee shops. There are also quite a few ancient temples here. And nearby is the Anafiotika neighborhood that almost feels like you've been swept away to the Greek islands with its whitewashed homes and laid-back vibe. Don't forget to check out the Temple of the Olympian Zeus, which took several centuries to build and was finally finished by the Roman Emperor Hadrian in 131 AD. Another must-see is the Odio Hiron Atikish, an ancient Roman amphitheater that was restored in the 1950s. It's the main venue for the Athens Festival, which runs May through October and features Greek and international performers. Last but not least, we have to mention the Antiki Thera Machinish. It's a 2,000-year-old device that is widely considered to be the world's first analog computer. The Greeks of antiquity could actually predict astrological events with this mind-boggling device. It's now housed in the National Archaeological Museum of Athens and is well worth seeing. And that leads us to number one, Santorini. Santorini is the quintessential Greek island. When you close your eyes and picture the Greek islands, Santorini probably comes to mind. It's a beautiful and notoriously windy island formed out of volcanic rock photogenic blue dome churches, 
mesmerizing sunsets, and an assortment of stunning beaches draw tourists in droves, making this one of the most popular destinations in Greece. Santorini has been rated the world's top island by countless magazines and travel websites, and it's not hard to figure out why. The island is host to over 2 million tourists a year, and at any given time, tourists might actually outnumber the residents. One of the things Santorini is most famous for are the sunsets. There is not a better place on earth for sunset lovers. So make sure to head over to Ia and watch the stunning sunset over the Aegean Sea while enjoying a shot of this country's most iconic drink, Uzo. Life is good. We can't think of a better way to cap off our journey to one of the most historic and beautiful countries out there. The land built by the gods, Greece. So have you ever been lucky enough to visit Greece? What was your favorite place? Tell us all about it in the comments down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and bang that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.